Buckle up, literally, because this is going to be a bumpy ride. We've got 11 questions for you on crazy Edgar Wright movies. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be, and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show, and thank you for all the amazing iTunes reviews you guys have left. We're up to 159. I'd love to be up to 175 by the end of the year. If you leave an iTunes review, just let me know in an email, ryanbuds at gmail.com, and I'll make sure you get some cool stuff sent to you in the mail. That would be awesome, 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 and I would accept that as a very gracious Christmas present this year. That would be so cool of you guys. Do that. Do that if you have a second. Just go in the app, search for the Trivia with Buds podcast, click on it, scroll to the bottom, click leave a review or make a review, and you'll be good to go. But don't forget to email me so I know to send you something cool. Happy holidays, everybody. I am cruising around Utah for an unfortunate funeral, but watching and looking out the windows at some very cool sights, sounds, and scenes. So uh, Salt Lake City area is where we're at this week, and uh, we are taking in the coldest tap water I've ever tasted in my life and some very crisp air up here. So at least the scenery is is, uh, uplifting. We are uh, doing a bunch of traveling this week, and then we are doing a bunch more corporate holiday parties with my company, Trivia with Buds. So thank you so much if you booked me for one and happen to listen to the show. That is a really cool way to help uh, make my family comfortable. Those are the the majority of the holiday parties I get uh, this year are going into what's called our emergency fund. So uh, I talked about it before, but we got debt free in the fall. And the next step of being debt free is setting up an emergency fund of three to six months of expenses in case something crazy happened. So we are in the process of piling up money because we've never had any kind of emergency fund before. So it'll be very cool, I think, at the end of the year and the start of 2020. 20, a brand new decade to be all set with this emer- emergency fund idea. So thank you so much. If you've come play to Trivia Night, if you've bought something from me or my website, or you've uh, kicked a donation my way, or you've supported me on Patreon, or you've booked me for any kind of party or service, that is all greatly, greatly appreciated. And uh, coming up here on the end of our second year, we started two years ago doing this thing full time, November 2017, uh, in terms of me not having a real day job and just doing the trivia events and the podcast and all this fun stuff. So thank you so much for being along for the ride. Today's topic is Edgar Wright movies. Some of my favorite movies are directed by this director, and uh, I love Simon Pegg, and I love a lot of the craziness that goes on in these movies. And uh, this was a topic picked by Manny Cortez, one of my favorite buddies to play trivia with over at R.T. Rogers Brewing in Sierra Madre, California. Manny plays on a team called The Old Gods every single week. And uh, Manny just informed me. He goes, hey, I need your signature on a few things. And I said, what's going on? He said, I'm giving away a Ryan Bud's bad movie pack for my white elephant gift at the office this year. And I said, oh my gosh, I'd be happy to sign those. So he got Sharknado and Snake out of Compton. And uh, he wants me to sign them to make that gift even more valuable uh, by a few dozen cents. So that's uh, no problem, Manny. And uh, thank you for asking me to do that. All right, we're going to jump into these 11 questions on Edgar Wright. Let's see how many of these you know. Here we go. All right, Edgar Wright trivia for Manny. Here's question one. In Shaun of the Dead, what kind of store does Shaun work in? Question number one, in Shaun of the Dead, what kind of store does Shaun work in? Question number two, what make of car did Ansel Algort drive in Baby Driver? Number two, what make of car did Ansel Algort drive in Baby Driver? Question number three, in Shaun of the Dead, what is the name of Shaun's favorite tavern? Question number three, in Shaun of the Dead, what is the name of Shaun's favorite tavern? Question number four, what is Sean's last name, which can be seen on a poster ad? Question number four, what is Sean's last name, which can be seen on a poster ad? Question number five, in Scott Pilgrim versus the world, the star on Ramona's bag changes in accordance with 
her what? Question number five in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the star on Ramona's bag changes in accordance with her what? Question number six in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, one of the evil exes is portrayed by Mae Whitman, who previously played the girlfriend of Michael Sarah's character on what show? Number six in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, one of the evil exes is portrayed by Mae Whitman, who previously played the girlfriend of Michael Sarah's character on what show? Number seven, for the film Hot Fuzz, among the nine special com- commendations Sergeant Angel received were awards for Operations Shakedown, Crackdown, Showdown, and what? Number seven, for the film Hot Fuzz, among the nine special commendations Sergeant Angel received were awards for Operations Shakedown, Crackdown, Showdown, and what? Question number eight. In each film of the Cornetto trilogy, a main action scene takes place in a blank. Number eight. In each film of the Cornetto trilogy, a main action scene takes place in a blank. Question number nine. In Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, what band's poster can be seen in the background of the record store scenes? Question number nine. In Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, what band's posters can be seen in the background of the record store scenes? And your two-point bonus question in Shaun of the Dead, what were Shaun and Ed's weapons of choice? Your two-point question in Shaun of the Dead, what were Shaun and Ed's weapons of choice? Those are all your questions for Edgar Wright Movies. We'll be right back in just a second with the answers. We're back with Edgar Wright Movies. Let's see how you did. Question number one, in Shaun of the Dead, what kind of store does Shaun work in? An electronics store. Didn't need the name of it, just an electronics store in this case, number one. Number two, what make of car did Ansel Algort drive in Baby Driver? A Subaru. It's a Subaru, which was probably a well-placed ad on Subaru's part for Baby Driver. Number three, in Shaun of the Dead, what is the name of his favorite tavern? It's called the Winchester. The Winchester, number three. Question number four, what is Sean's last name, which can be seen on a poster ad in the movie? Riley, Sean Riley. Number five, in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the star on Ramona's bag changes in accordance with her what? Hair color. I was going to say mood if I didn't know that one. Uh, Hair color. Number six, in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, an evil ex is portrayed by Mae Whitman, who previously previously played the girlfriend of Michael Sarah's character on Arrested Development. Uh, his dad does not like that character. Number seven, for the film Hot Fuzz, among the nine special commendations Sergeant Angel received were awards for Operations Shakedown, Crackdown, Showdown, and Takedown. Takedown was the answer there. Number eight, in each film of the Cornetto trilogy, a main action scene takes place in a pub. A pub. Number nine, in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, what band's posters can be seen hanging in the background of a record store? That would be Radiohead, Radiohead. And your last question for two points in Shaun of the Dead, what were Shaun and Ed's weapons of choice? A cricket bat and a shovel. Cricket bat and a shovel. Those were your questions for the quiz today. Thank you so much for playing along. And it's time for one more question in the form of the question of the day, brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs of San Dimas, California. Polaris is more commonly referred to as the what? Your bonus question, Polaris, is more commonly referred to as the what? Tweet me your answer at RyanBuds or email RyanBuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Yesterday's question of the day answer was Toyota for the uh, company that makes Lexus. And your trivia team name of the day is Fast and the Furious Tokyo Midriff. Tokyo Midriff. Check out Funky Monkey Designs at fmdesignsinc.com. And thank you so much for listening to the show. We'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with buds. Cheers.